Hello, Victoria here, your journey reader for today. Uh, welcome to Oil for the Journey. We are in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 to chapter 37. And remember, as always, we follow the Ignite the Truth Bible reading plan. So um, we have some excellent chapters to be read today. Um, as a matter of fact, some of the headings in my Bible say the blessing on Israel, the renewal of Israel, the dry bones live. I mean, that is good, encouraging stuff, good prophetic stuff, particularly for the nation of Israel to which all this applies. And we can also um, be encouraged by it as well as we um, appreciate what God is doing in Israel. So chapter 36. And you, son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel and say, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because the enemy has said of you, aha, the ancient heights have become our possession. Therefore prophesy and say, thus says the Lord God, because they made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side so that you became the possession of the rest of the nations. And you are taken up by the lips of talkers and slandered by the people. Therefore, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to the mountains, the hills, the rivers, the valleys, the desolate wastes, and the cities that have been forsaken, which became plunder and mockery to the rest of the nations all around. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Surely I have spoken in my burning jealousy against the rest of the nations and against all Edom, who gave my land to themselves as a possession with wholehearted joy and spiteful minds in order to plunder its open country. Therefore prophesy concerning the land of Israel and say to the mountains, the hills, the rivers, and the valleys. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and my fury because you have borne the shame of the nations. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I have raised my hand in an oath that surely the nations that are around you shall bear their own shame. But you, O mountains of Israel, you shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people Israel, for they are about to come. For indeed, I am for you and I will turn to you and you shall be tilled and sown I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, all of it, and the city shall be inhabited and the ruins rebuilt. I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bear young. I will make you inhabited as in former times and do better for you than at your beginnings. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Yes, I will cause men to walk on you, my people Israel, they shall take their possession of you and you shall be their inheritance. No more shall you bereave them of children. Thus says the Lord God, because they say to you, you devour men and bereave your nation of children. Therefore, you shall devour men no more, nor bereave your nation anymore, says the Lord God. Nor will I let you hear the taunts of the nations anymore nor hear the reproach of the peoples anymore, nor shall you cause your nation to stumble anymore, says the Lord God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own ways and deeds. To me, their way was like the uncleanness of a woman in her customary impurity. Therefore, I poured out my fury on them for the blood they had shed on the land and for the uh, their idols which with, with which they had defiled it. So I scattered them among the nations and they were dispersed throughout the countries. I judged them according to their ways and their deeds. When they came to the nations, wherever they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said of them, these are the people of the Lord and yet they have gone out of his land. But I had concern for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations wherever they went. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, 
God, I do not do this for your sake, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the nations wherever you went. And I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God when I am hallowed in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the nations, gather you out of all the countries, and bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. Then you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. You shall be my people and I will be your God. I will deliver you from all your uncleanness. I will call out or I will call for the grain and multiply it and bring no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of your trees and the increase of your fields so that you need never again bear the reproach of famine among the nations. Then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good and you will loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and your abominations. Not for your sake do I do this, says the Lord God. Let it be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, on the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities, I will also enable you to dwell in the cities and the ruins shall be rebuilt. The desolate land shall be tilled instead of lying desolate in the sight of all who pass by. So they will say, this land that has des uh, was desolate has become like the garden of Eden. And the waste of desolate and ruined places, cities, are now fortified and inhabited. Then the nations which are left all around you shall know that I, the Lord, have rebuilt the ruined places and planted what was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do it. Thus says the Lord God, I will also let the house of Israel inquire of me to do this for them. I will increase their men like a flock like a flock offered as a holy sacrifice as holy sacrifices like the flock at jerusalem on its feast days so shall the ruined cities be filled with flocks of men then they shall know that i am the lord chapter 37 the hand of the lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O Lord God, you know. Again he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. I will put sinews on you, and bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and suddenly a rattling and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them, covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Also, he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath. Thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet in exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, 
These bones are the whole house of Israel. They indeed say, our bones are dry, our hope is lost, and we ourselves are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, thus says the Lord God, behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up from your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up from your graves. I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. <sighs> Powerful. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, as for you, son of man, take a stick for yourself and write on it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write on it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel, his companions. Then join them one to another for yourself into one stick and they will become one in your hand. And when the children of your people speak to you saying, will you not show us what you mean by these? Say to them, thus says the Lord God, surely I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim and the tribes of Israel, his companions, and I will join them with it, the, with the stick of Judah and make them one stick and they will be one in my hand. And the sticks on which you write will be in your hand before their eyes. Then say to them, thus says the Lord God, Surely I will take the children of Israel from among the nations wherever they have gone and will gather them from every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king over them all. They shall no longer be two nations, nor shall they ever be divided into two kingdoms again. They shall not defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will deliver them from all their dwelling places in which they have sinned and will cleanse them. Then they shall be my people and I will be their God. David, my servant, shall be king over them and they shall have all one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. Then they shall dwell in the land that I've given to Jacob, my servant, where your fathers dwelt. And they shall dwell there, they, their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them, and it shall be an everlasting covenant with them. I will establish them and multiply them, and I will set my sanctuary in the midst, in their midst forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Indeed, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. The nations also will know that I, the Lord, sanctify Israel when my sanctuary is in their midst forevermore. Wow, amazing, powerful stuff, prophetic, happening now the land uh, the Lord has definitely brought land uh, the people of Israel back into their own land it is blossoming before them becoming this Garden of Eden so we're seeing these prophecies uh, being fulfilled in our day so this is beautiful uh, for us we could also apply it to you know our lives in the sense of um, we could thank God for what he's doing in Israel but we could also, I think, grab some of these things and speak to these dry bones and say, um, God, would you breathe some new life in me and others that are um, not doing so well? So that's how we can pray. So Father, we just thank you for your word. We thank you that it is powerful, that it's truth, that it's happening now, that it's coming forth, that you are fulfilling your word in our days. And God, I just speak to um, any uh folks that are out there feeling like they're in the grave and um, dead and not having any life in them right now, God. And we just speak, speak your breath and your power over them in the name of Jesus. 
And we just thank you for all of this today in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you for being with me, for reading the word together, for listening, and however you took it in. And become a part of our team. It's growing. This is a movement of reading the word and spreading it out in the atmosphere. We have a lot of new team members. You'll see them as they read the word. So become a part. We want you. And I think all you have to do is go to oilforthejourney.com. Anyway, the links and all the information is below. Be encouraged. Shalom, shalom.